How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffled Rowlett and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today I am bringing you the rules and choose my starter episode for our brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Now ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a brand new series on the channel where we're going to take on the world of the Galar region so to say and try to play through the game in a randomized fashion as well as also having a bunch of texture changes and all that stuff which I've gotten a lot of great help with, you know, I've had someone help me out with this and set it all up for me so that we can have a lot of fun. Now, unfortunately, the only thing that hasn't been changed is the starters, seemingly. It seems like the starters might be a little bit of a hassle to really figure out, um, you know, just change at the moment. But in the future, if it is changeable, we will do another kind of like Nuzlocke maybe or like, you know, another extreme randomizer like this with, you know, new textures and also new, you know, new starters as well. But for now, this is the ones we'll have to go with. We'll have to go with the normal ones, which is Sobble, you know, Grookey and Score Bunny, and you guys will We'll get today to vote. Yes, you will get to vote for which one of those Pokemon is going to be our starter Pokemon in this playthrough, relation, gentlemen. You get to vote on it, and that's what we'll do. Now, to vote, it's going to be very simple. Uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. I'm going to explain exactly how it works. But let's talk about rules, right? How will the rules work in our little situation here? How will the rules actually operate? Like, like you know, um, since this is a game that features an open world area, and a lot of Pokemon are in the, you know, in the overworld, it's gonna be a little bit difficult, right? Well, here's the plan we're gonna have for that, ladies and gentlemen, and the way we're gonna do it, right? So, in normal routes, right? For example, route one, two, three, four, just general routes, that's where we will just use the normal rules for Nuzlocking, right? You can catch one Pokemon there, and that's basically the limit, right? You catch one Pokemon, and it's the first one you have you can encounter, right? The first one you encounter is the one you have to catch, and that's the one that has to be in your team. If you fail to catch it, you're not allowed to catch any more Pokemon in that route. But, the bigger problem here is the open world area, right? The wild area is where the problem comes into play. Now, what do I mean by problem? Well, because there's no roots in the wild area, it makes it a little bit more difficult. So, we've set up a little bit of a, you know, system for this, right? What we're going to do instead is, we're going to be allowed to catch two Pokemon after each gym. Of course, we're going to also get, be allowed to catch two Pokemon the first time we reach the wild area. So, the first time we get there, we'll be allowed to catch you know, two Pokemon, but then we won't be able to catch anything more there until, like, not a single other Pokemon, until, okay, until we defeat the next gym, right? So, let's say we get there for the first time from the starting town, we'll get to catch two Pokemon, but then we won't be able to catch any more until we defeat Milo. Once we've defeated Milo, we can go back there, we can catch two more Pokemon, and so on and so forth until we have basically, you know, finished all the gyms. So that's how we're going to set up the rules for the wild area and how they will work. So yeah, that's the general gist of that. Now, what are some other rules with Nuzlocking in particular for Pokemon? Well, one of the rules is, if a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead. That Pokemon cannot be used anymore, you can't have it in your team anymore, it's just not something you can have around with you in battle at all anymore. You have to leave that Pokemon in the box or release it and it's just a simple, pretty straightforward rules for anybody who hasn't, you know, who's done a Nuzlocke in the past. But some people might not know, so I thought it'd be, you know, worth it to tell you guys about that. Now, the next rule, we have to make sure to nickname every single one of our Pokemon. We have to make sure we nickname all of our Pokemon uh, to connect, you know, kind of make a better connection between us and that Pokemon. So that's one thing. Next thing, of course, which is if we black out in the game, if we, you know, all our Pokemon faint and we black out, we will have to basically count that as a loss. But we are pretty much going to be allowed to continue the series. We're going to keep doing this in case of a situation where we may have more Pokemon in our, you know, in our, like, PC, which we know we can use, and we'll basically have to use those. So yeah. Pretty straightforward. I think the rules should be pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I guess the only thing that remains now is to check out what the starters look like. And uh, yeah, you just guys are just gonna vote for it. So let's see what Leon's gonna show to us here because it's going to be the starter Pokemon themselves. And I think it's gonna play the animation for them. Actually, no, it doesn't. That's interesting. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Here are the starter Pokemon. We're gonna go from the start here, uh, which is Grookey, of course. As you can see, the you know colors have been changed, which I'm gonna be honest, this looks amazing. Like, <laughs> this straight up looks like freaking awesome. So there is Grookey, the grass type Pokemon. Do you want Grookey? Well, not for now. We'll have to see what you guys say, you know, as you vote. So you got that. Then we've got, of course, uh, you know, our boy Score Bunny. Uh, as you can see right here, really looking cool with the, the gray and kind of green colors. Um, of course, we're not going to choose him either until you guys vote. So, nothing on that one. And uh, then we have, of course, our boy Sobble. And uh, we're not going to be choosing Sobble uh, either for now, uh, even though he does look kind of like ghostly and cool. Won't be choosing him now either. We'll have to wait until you guys vote. So, yeah. Um, how do you vote, ladies and gentlemen? Well, it's pretty simple. If you want to vote, you simply have to go through a process of um, pressing the top right corner. Uh, there's a 
button. If you're watching this on a YouTube on the mobile phone, you'll see it in the top right corner. It's a little circle. Uh, it's a little circle which has like an exclamation mark on it. If you press that, you can vote to choose our starter Pokemon. Usually, YouTube will pop it up once in a while and make sure to notify you that it's there. If you press that, you can vote. But if you don't find the vote button, you can also just leave the name of the Pokemon you want us to choose. So if you want us to use Score Bunny, you can just type in the comments, hashtag Score Bunny. Or if you want us to use Score... Uh, sorry, <laughs> Grookey, I mean. If you want us to use Grookey, you can write hashtag Grookey. If you want us to use Score Bunny, hashtag Score Bunny. If you want us to use Sobble, hashtag Sobble in the comment section down below. And I'll just look through and, you know, count them out. It's not that difficult to count them, really. So if you guys want to choose them, just simply do that. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. So, now, when does this series start? Well, we're going to do the starter, uh, you know, this starter video is the first thing that's happening. So you guys are going to be voting for them. And we'll count the votes. And we will basically start the series on the 20th of November, which is Wednesday. It's the upcoming Wednesday of this coming week. So you guys will be able to see the first episode drop on that day. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And hopefully everything will be set up by then. For now, everything hasn't been fully set up. But we're kind of getting everything, everything like, you know, sorted out and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy the video. I hope you guys will enjoy the content in general. And a uh, big thank you to you guys for watching and enjoying the videos in, in just in general terms. Thank you so much. And if you guys do enjoy this video, drop a like down below, of course. And, you know, if we can hit a few likes on it, it'd be really appreciated. Either way, guys, I'll see you on the, all in the first episode. And also make sure to vote. And yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.